Hello everybody, I'm off to a rather swanky black tie event and I'm also in a little bit of a rush so I thought it'd be quite a good time to film a video about black tie and looking, you know, really like you're pulled together in very little time and so this video kind of relies on a few of my very best products that, you know, it's like pulling out the stops I suppose um, and I've also been lent this amazing jewellery um, so I'll talk about that later as well, it's lovely platinum and Pearl. So I'm going to go through hair, makeup, um, a couple of little kind of styling tips or tricks when you're in a hurry and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. So let's go back to the start of the makeup. As soon as I um, started to record this, I caught with my nail that spot to the side of my mouth that I didn't even know was there and now it's really really painful. So it's going to be glowing like a beacon throughout this entire video. Um, I'm using Dior Forever Fusion Wear Makeup. This is in shade 020. And I'm buffing it in with a Real Techniques foundation brush. And because this foundation is actually a really good match for my skin, I find that I almost don't need to take it right to the edges. So the coverage doesn't have to look that um, heavy. I'm going to go with my mouth just because it looks really funny. Here's a bit of Double Wear Stay In Place Concealer. I suppose the point of this video from a makeup point of view is that um, I'm just using products that I know really well and I know that they perform really well. Now is not the time to be experimenting. So that Dior Forever foundation I just know really matches my skin and also um, it's got a really good long wear to it. Oh that's better with my lips back to normal isn't it? So now a little bit of powder I'm using Dior Nude Skin. Is it Nude Skin this one? I use it all the time, I'll link to it. Um, because I'm doing a red lip, the reason I'm doing a red lip is the spot. I don't want too much else going on so I'm just giving a little bit of a bit of colour to my skin so I don't look like a mask. I mean you could leave it, a lot of people like to leave it very very pale with a red lip but um, I don't want to. Now the classic thing to do would be obviously to do the kind of black line around and you know have liner and red lips but um, what I'm actually going to do is use a brown and just kind of smudge it around the corners of the eye because I want the lips to be the focus which is quite unusual for me uh, but I don't want that kind of classic eyeliner and red lip look because I'm going to be sleeking my hair back and so I don't want it to look too 80s. So using this Dr. Hauschka trio I'm just taking a little bit of this darker shadow, this one on the right or left. I'm taking it along the lash line. So taking that along the lash line top and bottom but not all the way in at the bottom and then I'm smudging it with a q-tip. told you this was black tie in a hurry didn't I? You know what I think as long as the skin looks beautiful and perfect the rest of it just kind of falls into place really. So smudgy smudgy with the q-tip it saves a need for finding a brush because, as we all know, you can never ever find a makeup brush when you're in a hurry. And then finishing off the eyes, I don't want any liner, um, I'm just using my L'Oreal Telescopic False Lash Mascara. And so, on to the lips, the main event. Do I have a lip liner? That's the question. I do! Okay, so first of all, lining the lips in Gemma Kid's um, lip liner. This has got a nude and a red on the other end. And I'm hoping that this will draw the attention away from my spot. So 
favourite red of the moment, which is a Givenchy one, Carmen Escarpin, which is shade number 306. And it's just a really good red, I love it. So just a very, very bold red. And then with hair, this is what I'm doing. Just to save on time, I am sleeking it back with this stuff, which is Joico's Smooth Cure. It's like a leave-in rescue treatment. And you could use serum, you could use oil, you could use anything you want, but I just have that to hand. So I'm brushing that into a ponytail, and then all I do is twist the ponytail around and around and around until it goes back on itself and then I secure it with a hairband which isn't the most, I mean I think it's quite chic, you could go chicer I suppose and do some kind of cover up of the hairband but don't have time so that's makeup done and I just <clears throat> I just think it looks really nice, I like it, very chic keeping my jewellery very modern, I mean modern but very unusual, um, kind of classic shapes but unusual, I suppose that's what I want to say. It's actually Tahitian pearl and platinum. So platinum is very very pure and white and it doesn't cast any kind of colour which is why they use it to set diamonds in and things like that. But it just allows the pearl to really kind of be itself without you know being put off by another colour casting onto it. Now I just think it's very 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 beautifully crafted. Um, and this is by Michaela Jorup. I hope I've said that right. Um, as you know, I really love my platinum jewellery and I've borrowed a couple of other things in the last month as well, you've probably seen on Instagram. I like the fact that it just lasts forever and doesn't need any maintenance or replating or anything like that. And yes, I'm mulling over another purchase, but anyway, I'm running late, so let's get back onto the outfit. And the outfit that I'm wearing, this skirt is from Millie. And I love this skirt. It's, um, I don't know, it looks like roof tiles a little bit. And it's quite a heavy, heavy material that's going on there. But um, it just sits really nicely. It's very, very flattering. It's kind of quite short, but it doesn't feel overly short. It doesn't feel tarty or anything like that. And then with that, I've got my Zara silk top. Um, and I've had this for ages and ages and ages. So I always know that this top will go with a nice black skirt. It just drapes really nicely. It's very flattering. Um, this skirt is actually from Halpen PR's Fashion Cupboard. So it's a sample, it's not even out yet. But I borrowed it over Fashion Week and as of yet, haven't managed to get it back to them. But I'm sure I will soon. On my legs I have, I think these are probably called American Tan, these tights. Um, but I do quite like a nude pair of tights that are slightly darker than my leg colour. It just means I don't have to kind of go over stubbly legs if they need shaving. I don't have to cover up any kind of leg veins or bruises or moisturise my legs and get rid of dry patches or scaly patches. Just put the tights on and it looks like you've got perfect legs. So that's why I've got those on, especially because I've got quite a lot of leg on show. And then shoes, these are LK Bennett and I think they're called Andy, this um, particular shoe model. So really, as I said, just relying on kind of statement things. So amazing statement jewellery, uh, amazing red statement lip, slick back hair, and all the things that I use on a regular basis really, and that I trust. So it just means getting ready is cut down to kind of 10 minutes rather than worrying about what to wear. And I think it's always good to have one posh outfit, always kind of dry cleaned or washed and ironed or whatever you do with it, and always kind of hung up in one of those plastic carrier things to protect it. Shoes underneath and then you always know it's there. And even the underwear that matches and the tights that match, make sure it's all together and you can just never go wrong. So that's it, I'm off. I'm not late, which is great. So that little plan worked, but I still must go. So I shall see you in the next video.